Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I'm having a great one myself. We're here in the end, and we're hunting down wither skeletons. I've already managed to get one head, which I think takes us to three total. So we'll be able to spawn that lovely wither. And that'll be awesome, because then we get our, get our first beacon. Ooh, flames, flames, dodge. Ouch! Don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Oh, that's lava. Oof. Uh, all right, we're gonna risk it. We're gonna risk life. Life and limb, life and limb. Okay, let's get out of here. Anyways, yes, yeah, so now we can be able to spawn a wither. And we can take that down in the end. And get ourselves a beacon, which I'm looking forward to very, 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 very much. As there are some things I need to do mining-wise that would be nice to have a beacon for. Including getting some more diamonds, although we're not super short on diamonds just yet. But we're getting a little close. But also, I would like to get a lot more terracotta uh, because I have a bit of a project that's going to require some of those blocks. And I did a little bit of mining already. You can see right in here. Let's see. So I did a little bit, but it's pretty slow without a beacon. So I think it'd be nice to get one up and running. Let me think, since the last episode, not much has changed. Maybe a few little bits and pieces. I kind of just was messing around. I was just trying to make sure the villager was working. And he is giving his carrots to this guy eventually. But every once in a while, he just stares off into space, longingly trying to get out of his captive cage, trying to go off to his buddies. He definitely tries to get over to the village over here. There's some, some association with it. But after a time, he starts to go back to work gets his carrots and does a little bit of mundane work although he doesn't look like he's doing much because these are really fully grown over here uh, that being said I have also started to plot out a little bit of this next area here and as you can see I've actually already built a bit of a bridge and I think I'm gonna turn down uh, friendly creatures Let's turn you down there you go uh, hi horsey <laughs> as you can see we've uh, we had our enchanting area here for a while now if you watched Minecraft Noir this is it I kind of was messing around over here just having some fun testing out some blocks the smithing table makes for a great floor I was looking for a bit of a pattern for the terracotta kind of setting up another room here because ultimately what I want to put here is kind of a tower that goes all the way up uh, because you know, I want to have, I want to fill in this this corner with something a little bit different than just another box. Uh, and so I built this little bridge, and it's going to continue, so it allows us access to this tower. And uh, so yeah, so I don't want to just do stone again. And thematically, for this island, I've picked green as kind of the accent color so far, as you can see in this area here. We have used stripped. Uh, Stripped oak, strip spruce, and green as the accent. And I'd like to continue with that. I'd like to pull that color into uh, the rest of the builds around here. By the way, that thing doesn't work at all. <laughs> I forgot that, that not all seaweed grows to the maximum height. So we're ending up with a pretty crappy farm. <laughs> because as you can see here, down there, it's not growing any higher, and the sensor's right there. <laughs> so, anyways, it's perpetually frozen unless I go down and chop that off and it regrows. So, oh well, it happens. I guess I could put another sensor right here or something like that, but uh, we'll or an observer, I should say. But uh, we'll we'll deal with it later. Other than that, I don't think I've done anything else in the last few days. Just kind of puttering around. You know, piecing together some ideas as to what I want to do. Really trying to work on continuing this feeling. I made a few changes here just to bring up this terrace. Um, but yeah, I just want to kind of continue this kind of tight look and feel to the village. Where it's quite quaint and a, kind of like a European town like I previously mentioned. So, anyways, I think the first thing I want to do is just check in on those heads. I believe, like I said, we have two heads so let's see where would I put those there's the egg there's TNT I feel like it should be here somewhere aha here we go nice oh we got another oh we got a couple tiers awesome 
Anyways, I think we should go and grab some soul sand. And we should head to the end. Now, I can't remember how to set this up. So I'm going to have to go watch somebody's video to figure out exactly how to do this. But I'm pretty sure we can set it up so we don't have to really fight it or worry about it. I think that's how it works. So let me go get that set up and then we'll kill our first wither and we'll get our set our beacon all set up and uh, we'll go do a little bit of mining. All right, here we are. We are in the end and I've dug below the portal. And we're gonna attach the head now. We're gonna uh, see if we can pull this off. I've never actually done this before, but there you go. Let's get all the way. It's gonna be super loud. Woohoo! But hopefully he just stays there stuck and I don't have to worry about too much. And there we go. Wow. That's super loud. Oh my gosh, the sound. Oh, the sound. Let's turn that right down. Holy crap, that was loud. Okay, so he's just suffocating now. So we can just go ahead and beat on him. And eventually, he will die. I know this is a GD, but it's so much easier to do this. Bam! This way we don't have to deal with any damage. And blammo. There we go. Nether star achieved. Exactly what we wanted. And we're done. So we can head back to our base. And I don't think we... I kind of over... <laughs> kind of forgot about the iron scenario. <laughs> but I don't think we actually have enough iron to make this a thing. So let me just see uh, what I can pull together. Uh, between my iron supplies and here we go blocks of iron I can't even remember how many we're gonna need but I, I don't think we're anywhere close <laughs> near close enough to make a beacon but that's okay we'll do the best we can we'll use some gold uh, where we can and and uh, do our best so let me um, let me do a little bit of work I'll get uh, I'll get the beacon together uh, I think actually wait you know do we need does it tell you will I be able to see beacon in here ah uh, good I don't have to learn it. So glass and obsidian. So I got that. And I think I put some glass up here. Let's go grab that real quick. Make ourselves the first beacon. And then we can power it up. I guess we might be able to make a haste one beacon. That could be a thing. Let's see. Oh, I did remember which one it was in. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Voila. Nice. Let's just toss this out here. Plop. And we have to feed it some iron. Let's do that real quick here. Give it a give it a nugget. So it sounds like I'm gonna have to do some mega mining, or we're gonna have to come up with a mine somewhere. So if I do haste, I can't do anything, really. So what's the, let's take a look here at the first beacon. Uh, well, let's try and do that one. I think I think we might have enough iron for all that. Let's see here. 25, 29. Yeah, probably, right? Because that's just a, is that just a three by three? Let's see here. So if we went two, three, one, two, three, do, 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 like that. And break. Like so. There we go. Nice. So can I get haste? Like haste one? Is that a thing? Cool. No, we can. Nice. All right. So that's probably, I'm thinking that might be enough to have Instamine of clay. We should go chest, uh, test that out. Now, the next layer is five by five, and that's actually 24 blocks of iron, or 25 blocks of iron. So we might be able to do the next level, uh, which won't give us haste too, but that'll get us pretty close. Let me just go over here real quick. How many... Oh, I think I can make one, right? Yeah. Okay, so that should be enough for the next layer, which I'm not sure what we can get out of that. Let's take a look here. 25, that would allow us to get resistance and jump boost and then strength at the next beacon and then, yeah. Oh, wait, we have haste too? What? How do we have haste too? Really? Wow, really? I did not know that. Oh, I guess it's to get the second effect. Anyways, whatever. We um, we can set this up now. So I'm going to go head over to the 
the clay area. All right, we're over at the clay collection facility and looks like all we need is haste one, which is what we have. Not haste two, such a noob. <laughs> but yeah, we managed to get uh, get that all picked up and or set up and we can mine very quickly, get ourselves a lot of terracotta in a, a quite a quick fashion. So I'm going to focus probably mostly on, hi buddy, get wrecked in the face. I'm going to focus on just doing a little bit of harvesting here. Uh, collect up all of this uh, terracotta so that we'll have a good supply, maybe a full double chest of it so that we won't run out anytime soon and we'll be able to build up the rest of our island. All right, we're back at our base. Let's have a quick nap here. And uh, I started to work a little bit on the tower and doing some terraforming and developing some ideas. And as you can see, I've started to put in a bit of a wall here. And what I'd like to do is I'd, I, I want to build up the area like I've been saying with walls and terraforming and stuff like that. So I think what I'm going to do is pull this wall or make the horsey, you're in the way. So what I feel what we're going to do is we're going to pull the wall out from this, this cliff here. We're going to go all the way around. And if we think of this as kind of the, while it's the basement of the tower, it's also the wall of this little island. And this wall is going to be pulled up all the way around the edge here towards this nether portal. So I've started to just put up some, some blocks here just to kind of shore it up and start to carve back the, the terrain a little bit. And let's go ahead and work on that right now. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this for now so I can walk. And as you can see, I'm just kind of trying to make what is effectively going to become a path. Okay, so that is the ceiling. I was worried about that. So we might have to mark that as not a no-go right there. So we may need a little bit of... We actually may need to go back out over a bit, which is fine. We could do something like this, where we create a bit of a lip and have a bit of an overhang, like so. That'll look nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Morning voice. It's morning and it's coffee time. Anyways, uh, so <laughs> let's go this way with our digging. So as you can see, I'm just going to pull back this mountain a little bit. And I think we'll probably discover possibly a cave in here because I know there's one that kind of goes from front of them or north to south and then down. But maybe not. Maybe we'll get lucky. And so, yeah, just do something like this where we're going to shore up the back side here. So here on this side of the wall, and I'm just going to put cobblestone down as an example because we want to make it look man-made or human-made, if you will. Uh, of course, I'm not going to just use cobblestone. Don't worry. It's going to be all nice and pretty. But this gives us a bit of a sense of where we have to do some detail work. Like so. Okay, get that in there. And we'll probably peel this back as well, like that. And then we can do a design for the wall, basically. Yeah, that's going to look really good. We'll come along. And actually, we should probably just dig this all the way down and remove that dirt. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Get rid of all this dirt where we can see it. I've been kind of going down into the ocean as well and just kind of backfilling with a bit of stone just to make it look like it actually would have been... Um, when the builders made the wall, they would have gone all the way down into the water. They wouldn't have just packed stone on top of dirt. So I try to go down to either stone or... Like right here, we have some... Um, which we'll call it diorite. So I kind of stack it up like this to make it look like the foundations actually go well into the water and it makes it look a little bit more believable. So, like so. Let's see here. One, two. And then I'll just build up like that. So that's kind of my vision. We're going to carry this path around. So the path kind of goes through the tower. I don't know where the entrance... We might make the entrance even above. Like this might end up just being something we carry over. So let's just say we build this out like this. so. And I think we're probably gonna have to step up. We're down one. Ooh, we have to go up over there. That's okay. What we could do here is say we brought this floor out a little bit. Uh-huh, we'll do this. But on this side, we could have it come out like so. And then we do a step up. And then we bring these blocks around like this. And so what we could do is have kind of, oh, I got an idea. What if we did something like this where we had kind of a viewpoint that looks kind of cool do i have any i don't even 
no more blocks. Oh my goodness. I'm actually, believe it or not, really low on cobblestone of all things. It's kind of weird to say, but... Oh, there we go. There's some more. Uh, but let's grab just even smooth stone. Uh, because I've been using my silk touch pickaxe so much, I barely have any cobblestone. Because uh, usually, usually that's what you have the most of, I feel like. Okay, so let's grab some of this andesite. Yeah, so something like this. I'm just slapping down blocks just so you can guys can visualize it with me. So if we made like a little bit of a covered area, uh, so you come down here and then we could have an internal wall here. I'm going to use dirt now just so you guys can visualize this with me like that. So you kind of walk around like this. Now it's a little claustrophobic, so I think we need to, we need to probably make it a little bit wider. But yeah, so this path comes down here. We walk down here. Going for a stroll in the town. And then if we keep going, uh, this goes into the tower proper, which will go up like this. And then maybe on this side, we have a bit of a... Or maybe right here, we have a stairwell down into the dungeons and the depths of this beautiful tower. And then, yeah, we'll continue down this way. That's definitely too close. We're going to have to fix that. And we'll go all the way over here. And then you can continue your merry little stroll to the other side of this beautiful village. So if I pull this back like this, let's see here. Oh, I need more cobblestone. Okay, let's do some anisite for now. Yeah, that's going to look good. I'm going to like that a lot. So I'm going to get rid of this dirt. I'm going to do a little bit more work. And I'll bring you guys back in a sec here. All right, we are back. And I've done quite a bit of work. Uh, just kind of laying out that wall some more. And as you can see, I've got it laid out down here and up here a bit. Now, it's very plain. I know, I know. And it's very gray. Yes, it's going to be, we're going to work a lot more blocks into the palette. I just want to get the structure set up so you can kind of visualize what it is we're trying to do. So as you come over here, we're going to walk across this bridge and then there'll be a room here. And I figure what we'll do is we'll probably just have, let's see here, I'll do three, try to bring a block over here. Actually, let's just uh, pull this over and do it like so and i need to put a block there right yeah so we can do is pull up some kind of arch here Hoop. and let's see this pulls over like that there you go so quick arch something like that where this is the room although this might look better if we plugged it in like so oh yeah that might look a lot better actually there we go now ah see this is where the bridge is misaligned maybe we <laughs> maybe i need to extend the bridge over one more yeah i think we need to make the bridge wider by one and so it won't be uh, an odd bridge it'll be an even bridge which has its pros and cons maybe that's why we did that way, isn't it? Uh, maybe maybe this solution is to reverse that thought process and do it this way. Maybe we do it like so. Instead of pushing this back over here, let's actually do this. And maybe we put that block in the middle there, like that. And then we do stairs like this. There we go. That might work. That might look a little bit better. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I don't want that there. Uh, maybe that. Aha! Okay. And technically, we might even be able to do something like that. Let me go make a few more stairs, or grab a few more stairs. A few more stairs. There we go. Let's see what this looks like here real quick. So, potentially, what we could do on this side is actually have another access point into some part of the base here. So let's just do that, that, and then like so. Yeah, so we could do that as well. We could have some kind of walkway or something. Maybe it goes through the mountain. Maybe it kind of goes this way over here by this building. We'll see. We'll figure that out. But yeah, I think that's going to be about it for today. We got a lot of work done. Kind of laying out the next section. Again, details to come as this is very plain, but we got the basics and the tower is going to come along. So anyways, you know what to do. If you like this video, make sure you bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And uh, make sure you toss some comments down below. My name is Crash, and I'm out.
Welcome to the greatest show on earth.